A war in Europe will touch almost everyone, either in the long term or short term. The war isn't impacting the food supply of only the Ukrainians, but it will also impact food supply around the globe. To understand why, we must take a glance at farming. With the world's population rising and the amount of overall food consumption going up, gone are the days of a family tiling their own land to harvest crops and feed their family. Most of our food comes from industrial scale crop harvesting. The primary factor people in this business need to worry about is yield. The higher the yield, the better it is. To boost yields to meet the current demand of global food consumption, farmers around the world by and large rely on fertilizers. Russia is one of the largest supplier of fertilizers and fertilizers related raw materials. It is the largest supplier of nitrogen fertilizer in the world. Due to western sanctions, shipments have been disrupted and supplies have dried up. It is not just nitrogen fertilizer. Last year, Russia was the largest exporter of urea, NPKs, ammonia, UAN, ammonium nitrate and the third largest potash exporter. Comically enough, other than Brazil, it is the European Union and United States who are to a significant degree dependent on Russian fertilizers and related raw materials. While the US doesn't buy much fertilizer directly from Russia, countries that do are now shopping among America's suppliers. Due to disruption in shipping, shortage in supply and all other moving variables which are a result of the war and western sanctions, prices of fertilizers have gone up. According to the Green Markets North America Fertilizer Price Index, fertilizer prices have jumped 10% last week and 40% from the previous month. Consider how Russian fertilizers impact cost of meat in China. At first glance, it seems completely unrelated, right? Consider this. Brazil, an agricultural giant, imports a significant amount of its fertilizers from Russia. Brazilian farmers use these fertilizers to grow soybean. They are in fact the highest producers of soybeans and their biggest market is China. China uses these soybeans to feed their livestock. The domino effect. Cost of fertilizers goes up. Ultimately, as a result, price of meat in China goes up. UN Secretary General Antonio warned recently that the war in Ukraine can spiral into a global hunger crisis. Regions like Africa face the risk of highest destabilization, primarily northern and northeastern Africa, including the Horn of Africa. United Nations International Fund for Agricultural Development analysis states that in Somalia, where an estimated 3.8 million people are already severely food insecure, the costs of electricity and transportation have spiked due to the fuel price increase. This has disproportionate impact on poor small-scale farmers and pastoralists who, in the face of erratic rainfall and an ongoing drought, rely on irrigation-fed agriculture powered by small diesel engines for their survival. In Egypt, prices of wheat and sunflower oil have escalated due to Egypt's reliance on Russia and Ukraine for 85% of its wheat supply and 73% of its sunflower oil. In Lebanon, 22% of families are food insecure and food shortages or further price hikes will exacerbate an already desperate situation. The country imports up to 80% of its wheat from Russia and Ukraine but can only store about one month's worth of the crop at a time due to the blast in Beirut sport in 2020 that destroyed the country's major grain silos. Even before the war, some regions in the world were staring at the challenge of heightened food insecurity.